part of that task force um, is to look up all the emails of all the sc Victorian schools and we'll send them some sort of package to tell people, well, you know, uh, to tell the schools um, to take some action on this. Um, otherwise, we're going to have to get the, the parents, get them angry. Look what it's doing to their children. Uh, of course, it's a related issue to the smart meter. I've, I've been going around with my little electrosensitive meter measuring different bits of equipment. The smart meter goes off the scale on, on mine. So do um, the cordless phones. They're really bad. Some mobile phones, some, some are better than others. My, my mobile phone's probably the worst, so <laughs> that's going to be a dinosaur, uh, as well as the cordless phones. But some mobile phones are nowhere near as bad. You know, I don't know why. Uh, it's, I'm going to be doing some more testing on that. Uh, you also need to learn to switch off Wi-Fi at both modem and computer because most people don't even know it's on, it's on by default. Right? Um, yeah, don't buy smart grid ready appliances. They are already being legislated. Um, another solution perhaps, uh, request and re-request over and over an itemised account to your service and property charge showing how, when and where you've paid for a smart meter. I received correspondence from SP Osnet saying everyone in, in Victoria has paid for the smart meter. So I wrote back to them, I said, well, thank you for letting me know I've paid for something I didn't um, consent to. Please send me the itemised bill and if you can't uh, show me the justification for me paying that, I want a refund. Now imagine if hundreds of people started doing that and because to me it's a trade practices issue, I can't see why we aren't going there. Right? Well, I might have to kick that off myself. I've got it in both writing and on video that they will disconnect my power if I do not consent. And I know there's other people in the room who've had the same experience. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, I'm just wondering how many of us in the room have been told by a government department or ombudsman that the smart meter installation is mandatory? Anybody in the room? That's the first thing they say and then they back down and you say, no, it's not. Yeah, okay. Well, all right, there's a number of people. There's got to be a human rights issue with that. We're being fed false information, right? And so the people that try and get the information are being discriminated against by even the, the government representatives who do back down once we confront them. <clears throat> ah, yes, and the, and the last solution I'll offer is from the Electro Pollution website, which I flashed up there before. Um, I'll read the quote. Deborah Davis, in her book, Disconnect, explains that the most serious practical challenge to the cell phone industry comes from the world's large insurance companies, such as the Sterling Group of Lloyds of London. Having been nearly wiped out when asbestos-related claims were settled in the early 1990s, insurance companies informed the cell phone industry that they will not be backed when radiation injury claims start pouring in, as they surely will. So I'd like to call upon another task force tonight, uh, say after the movie, um, to visit, make appointments uh, to insurance companies. I saw our, our local insurance broker, he said go to the insurance council with this information. <clears throat> Get in writing what they would do if a child was damaged by electro pollution and a claim was made via public liability. And then take this to the schools and the, and the local councils who may be terrified that their public liability is null and void. Um, haven't we noticed that we can't seem to do anything public or otherwise anymore without public liability? Yeah, okay. So um, I think we'll get on with the show and a lot of us have given donations already. The, the video isn't quite, uh, the movie isn't quite complete uh, from Canada. And um, they're asking for 
donations where you can get a free DVD. If, if you build up your donation to $50, they'll send you a DVD wherever you, wherever you are. So we'll be asking for that after the show. Okay, so I think we can get on.